Jared, thank you. And as promised, President Biden did sign that executive order to officially end the so-called Muslim travel ban. But what does this mean for the Muslim community here at home? Our Aubrey Killian is in Kenner this afternoon live with that story. Aubrey, you checked and you have reaction on that. What did you hear? Hey, that's right. So as President Biden is set to end the travel ban for several Muslim countries, people that I spoke with today say that this gives them a sign of hope. So take a look. Let me walk you through the backstory on really how this all got started. You might remember that travel ban. It was first issued back in January of 2017. That was under the Trump administration. It sparked major controversy all across the nation and world. And today I spoke with Dar Musa. He is a member of the Muslim community right here in Kenner. He says when the ban was first put in place, he was stunned. And since then, he's faced major discrimination. I just spoke with him about 20 minutes ago. Here's what he had to say about this big decision. What is your reaction to this major decision? Well, just it's not just me, everybody in, in the Muslim community and all over the Muslim world, they're all happy. And this is the first time I see the Muslim community or the, the Muslim world so happy. Now, while that travel ban is expected to be lifted, the White House did say that there could be some tighter restrictions as well. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. All right, Aubrey, thank you. Happening